How's it going everyone? I'm Ben Mills, Principal Product Success Architect with ServiceNow, and I'm happy to be presenting you with the new video series that we're putting together for integrating ServiceNow with Microsoft 365. For asset management use cases, integrating your ServiceNow instance with M365 will enable you to track your software subscriptions and software usage to determine license compliance and act on optimization opportunities. We are going to be joined by fellow Rangers, Randy Scrapper and Sean Walker, as they provide step-by-step -step guidance through each phase of the M365 setup process. Now, before we get started with the integration process, it is important that we ensure all prerequisites are in place for the M365 integration. The Microsoft Pub Publisher Pack will provide customers with enhanced capabilities for license tracking, optimization, and visibility specific to Microsoft products. The ITEM Health Check will help by reviewing and scoring data points and configurations of your M365 integration to provide visibility into any discrepancies that need to be remediated. The ITEM Health Check can be found in the ServiceNow store for pre-Washington customers. We will want to make sure that the SAS license management plugin is installed that is, as it is used in the creation and management of SAS integrations in SAM Pro. The Microsoft Intra ID spoke, which is also available in the ServiceNow store, is used to automate actions like the removal of software and other use cases through the integration. This spoke does require an integration hub subscription. And finally, we're going to want to make sure that we have the latest and greatest content values and mappings. With that out of the way, let's begin part one of this video series. Sean and Randy are going to be taking us through the steps of registering a Microsoft Azure AD application. Why is this important? In short, this step is important for configuring the necessary API permissions for your app which will allow it to securely access your Microsoft resources. Okay, so now I'm going to log into the Azure portal. So I've copied the link from the document that Randy sent me and I'm going to log in with my global administrator permissions. So to make a register an application in Azure, I need global admin privileges. Okay, just gonna see if you can see my screen here, okay. Excellent, right. so once you open up the registration page, you wanna select new registration. Okay. And, and we're gonna go ahead and name the form. So we're ITAM Rangers, so we are going to name this ITAM Ranger 365 Integration. So it'll be nice and easy for uh, us to find integration. If I could spell, that would help. Okay. <laughs> next, in the next section, we're going to do supported types. Now, there's three different types here to select. We're going to go ahead and, and select the multi-tenant one. So this one right here, okay. And then select register. And that's it, eh? just register, okay. Now this will take you back to the overview page where we'll want to copy the client ID so and the, the client tenant ID field. So, so you want to copy this one those. right here, okay. So I'm copying the application client ID. I'm going to paste this just on another screen here. So I have it. I better make a note of what it is. So this is the client ID. And then you also said the tenant ID, right? So the directory tenant ID? Directory tenant, yes, sir. Okay, so I've copied that. Again, I'm going to my other screen here. I'm gonna paste that and call this tenant ID. Okay, I've got those copied. Excellent. Now, the next thing we need to do is generate a secret a client secret for your application or for the application. So let's ma let's go over, uh, navigate to manage, and then certificate and secrets. Certificate and secrets, okay. We're gonna hit uh, new client secret. Okay, 
Oh, that's pretty straightforward. So we're going to do the same thing. Call this one ITAM Ranger 365 Integration. Now, what about this one, Randy? Like, this says expires. It's recommended 180 days. What does that mean? So this is something that we it is driven by your company or the company's policy. Now, what this does is it will uh, set up this connection for a one-year period, a two-year period, or it will never expire. Uh, if it do set it up for one year, you'll have to remind yourself to come back within that, you know, at the end of that one year to uh, re-enable this or this connection will, will be broken. Oh, so it's not going to remind me automatically. What will happen if, no. if the connection is broken? Do you know? Then the, then the jobs will start to fail. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's definitely a good note um, to put down then. So what? So we'll just leave it the default for now since we're just doing a test and then we'll leave it at default six months. Okay. Excellent. And then go ahead and add. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is do you want to copy the value uh, of the newly generated secret thing? And it's the value, not the ID. All right, so making sure I copy the value. So everybody noticed that, you know, as much as I thought, I was about to go and copy this one here that said secret ID, but it's actually the value that I need to copy. So again, I'm going to go to my other screen here. I'm going to paste that down. I'm going to put um, note for myself. This is the secret value. So I know which one it is. Okay, good. I've got that copied now. All right, now we need to specify the level of access. Uh, that the application has for your protected resources. So let's navigate over to manage and API permissions. Okay. So we do add a permission. All right. Uh, once that opens up, you want to select Microsoft API. Yeah, up here, yeah. And then you want to select Microsoft Graph. Okay. From there, you want to select application permissions. That makes sense. Now, from here, you're going to need to add three different permissions. You're going to want to add reports, read all, user, read all, and organization, read all. Okay, so reports, underneath reports, I can see, okay, read all. And then I'm going to add, you said user. User. Dot, was it read all, right? So here's user, read all, and the other last one I think was organization, right? Correct. Organization, read all. Okay, and I, I want you go ahead. Add permissions. Okay. Oh, and there's so from here. It does it does one here, delegated there. anyway? So this one came in from the profile itself. This is nothing I picked. It's just sort of the default. So. Excellent. And as we see this, you, you do see those warning signs. So the state uh, is not granted a consent yet. So we want to go ahead and grant admin consent on these applications. So there's a little checkbox right above description. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. That. Grant permission. Yeah, that's pretty important. Grant admin consent. Yes, we do. So we're basically giving the applicant application permissions. So even though we set the permissions, we still have to grant it permissions and only a global administrator can grant permissions. Okay. Excellent. And so now we're so now we're done. We successfully registered our application. Now we just need to uh, set up access in the Power BI in the API service. So that'll be our next couple of videos. So all right. Please look out for them. Thanks.